Hey guys, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to show you how I flatten my hair. So my hair is normally pretty curly, not curly, but it has kind of tiny little waves throughout it. But um, during winter time, I have to blow dry my hair because it's enough for me to be five minutes with like wet hair and I get sick. So I have to blow dry it. And once I blow dry it, it looks like this. So yeah, it's pretty crazy, pretty volumized. It has, I have a lot of hair and it's pretty like poofy. And I know that a lot of people want to get this type of volume and are looking for this type of volume. I'm not one of them, but you know, um, you always want what you can have, right? So I always um, flatten my hair. During summertime, sometimes I like to leave it like pretty curly wavy like that when it's like air dry, but during winter time, I always flatten it. I sometimes do like little waves in it, but just to get rid of this huge volume that I have, I like to uh, flatten it. And I always get compliments from people asking me and questions asking me if I do this professionally because um, usually people don't believe me that I have curly or wavy hair because it looks so natural as people say. And um, they always, when I do say that it's flattened and it's not like that naturally, they always ask if I get it professionally done. And I don't, I do it with like a regular, basic flatten iron at home so i decided that if i like get a lot of compliments and questions about my hair and that looks natural then i probably i'm doing something right i thought that it's like a basic method that i'm doing that it's nothing special but then i saw a lot of videos on youtube and i saw that a lot of people do it differently so i'm just going to show you the way that i do it um this is what works for me this is what gets me the most compliments it looks natural it holds up and I just like how it looks like. I think it still looks like healthy. And um, throughout this video, I'm probably going to have to brighten the footage because my hair is pretty dark and I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So excuse me if throughout this video, I'm going to look like super pale. That's why I just want you to see the hair. But um, yeah, basically this is the finished result and if you want to see how I flatten my hair then just keep on watching so I'm going to start by brushing my hair I'm doing like a middle part like that this is what I like but you don't have to you can just part it like a side part or whatever you want it but this is going to be the end result where and how I want my hair to lay down and then I'm just going to brush my hair with this type of brush brushing it out from the inside as well because it's harder to reach this part of hair when I'm brushing it from outside then I'm going to start, oh my God, how much hair? Okay, then I'm going to start and section it. And I am going to section it into two parts. Where is my hairpin? Got it. So um, some people like to part a thicker hair like mine into a lot of different sections and going in like really, really small thin parts of hair but I'm doing it in only two sections. This is just how I do it. So I like to go from above my ears, a little more above my ears like that, upwards and this, about where my brow, like eyebrow ends. This is the line that I take. So I get about half of my hair. So these are my two sections. I'm going to take this section up into a bun just so it won't interrupt me. And I'm going to start and work with the bottom section. So a cutie bun. And this is the part I'm going to work with first. So first of all, I like to spray a heat protecting spray. The one that I'm using for years now is the Tresemme um, Heat Tamer Live-In Heat Protecting Spray. I'm going to spray the out, outside part of both of the sides and I'm going to just run my fingers through it until I feel that I have everything coated and then the same 
from the inside. You want to hold it pretty far away from your hair just so we won't get like clumps of spritz of the spray and so it will evenly distribute like a thin layer of spray all over your hair. Same on this side. Just like that. And then I'm just running my fingers through it. I'm not going to brush it again. I'm just running my fingers through it. Like so. Now I leave all my hair back and I'm going to start and flatten it with my flattening iron. This is the iron that I use. It was white at first, but right now it's blue because my hair was blue at some point, like the bottom part of my hair that's now purple was blue at some point, so it just dyed my flat iron. So don't pay attention to that. But um, yeah, this is a pretty old flatten iron, so I don't think it's the iron itself. I think it's just the technique. I don't know, I might be wrong, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So it's nothing special at all. After I sprayed my hair, I'm going to take tiny sections like that, about this much hair. And I'm going to go from the roots and just go outwards once. And I'm going to do the same thing downwards twice. That's it. That's what I do. And I'm going to continue and leave this part that I always, that's always, that's already flat. Oh my God. Um, right here in the front. And then I'm going to take some more pieces from the back. And I like to take, again, about this much hair. And I like to start from the upper hair. And then I'm going to the ones that I, that's at the bottom. And again, taking it to the front. So you can see the way that I'm doing it is taking a piece of hair that's above like that, taking the iron very close to the roots, slowly taking it outwards while I'm holding the hair like that, like parallel to the ground, 90 degrees, and then taking it again and this time taking it downwards and to the front like that. And that's the hair. And then going to the pieces that are underneath and doing the same thing from the roots to the side, from the roots downwards. Now once I reach one half of hair, so this is one half, that's the other half. Once I reach that point, I'm just going to go through all this section with my iron just on top of it to kind of lay it flat again. Just like that. Now you can see the difference. So now I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So once I have this section done, which didn't took too long at all actually, now I'm going to take down the bun and release the other half. But while it's up like that, I'm going to grab this hair. I'm going to do a pretty loose ponytail because I don't want the hair bend, the hair tie to leave like a mark on my hair. I want it to be pretty flat. So it looks like that. 
and then we're going to be releasing this part section it into two parts like that running my fingers through it and then i'm just going to repeat the same steps that i did with the bottom half the reason that i collected it into a ponytail is so it won't interrupt the other half that i'm going to be working on right now and then i'm just going to spray from the outside from the inside run my fingers through it spread it all throughout the hair like that and then I'm basically go going to do the exact same thing that I did on the bottom half I'm going to leave them like that now I'm going to start with this part, so I'm going to take it back like this. And I'm going to start from the front, pieces of hair, and do the exact same thing from the roots to the side, from the roots down. So when I'm done with this section, I can release the ponytail and basically I'm done. It never takes me more than like 20 minutes tops and I really like the results that I get. So that's it, that's the finished result. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you find it helpful. This is just how I do it. It's really simple and easy for me. I don't know if it's right, if it's wrong, if it's correct, if it's good for my hair, I don't know. But I mean, every time that you apply heat on your hair, it's not good. So that's why I use heat protecting spray. Not that it helps that much, but you know, at least something. And um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up on the way out so I know that you like it, that you find it helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell button to get notified every time I upload a video, which is twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays. And I'm going to talk to you all on Tuesday. Bye.